So, yesterday PlayStation uploaded a Freedom's War story trailer, which is the one you're watching right now, on their main YouTube channel. And this is English sub, it's not dubbed or anything. Along with this new video, they made a post on the US blog, basically explaining the reasoning of them posting this trailer. You know, so the blog post was named Freedom Wars New Details on PSVR's upcoming action RPG. And the reasoning was that after E3, and people were saying they loved the gameplay, like, oh, but they're like, oh, but is there a story? You know, so this is what their post was for, this is what the story was for. Um, they, they made it so, to show that there is a story, and they're trying to, like, you know, brag about it in a way. <laughs> now, if you've been subbed to me for about five, at least five months, you would already know the story. <laughs> but for the people who aren't subbed to me, or not subbed to any Vita channel that's been covering this game like I have, they'd be clueless as to what the game really really is you know the only thing they've posted was a short release trailer of some sort um, on their main page on both pages actually that's the only thing they've uh, uploaded onto the US PlayStation channel everything else has been all this other gameplay I've been getting is from uh, the Japan channel where all the stuff is coming from because they love the Vita but anyways that is where this trailer comes in, you know. Now they're starting to familiarize people. They're going to start marketing a little bit better, I think. At least I think they will. They're going to start putting up some more uh, gameplay trailers. Probably when they give out a release date, they're probably going to put up another video. That's just me thinking. They may or may not. If they don't do that, it's going to be a US It's going to be a blog post on the US site. Anyways, the post finishes off with a Japan studio producer leaving us this is how they said leaving us eager fans of North America with a message so I don't know about you guys but eager doesn't even begin to explain how much I want this game today I made a Japan PlayStation account just so I could download the Freedom's War demo only for me to find out that they removed it the 25th of June Oh my god, that made me so mad. And then after that, I was so mad and so anxious to touch the game that I was about to buy the Japan version. <laughs> that, would been a, that would have been bad, I'm telling you guys. Anyways, after this post, there's about five pages of comments in under a day. Not even a day, like in, a, in like 10, 11, 13, 14 hours, there's five pages of comments. Um, if you don't really go to the blog and you don't really know how many comments it usually gets, because it is the official blog, so it's going to get a lot of comments. But just to f just for comparison, Sunday on every week, an editor of the blog posts makes a post called The Drop of Week blah blah blah. So this time it was The Drop the week of June 30th, 2014. And what it is is it's a post labeling all the releases that are coming out for this week on all platforms. That is PS Vita, PS3, and PS4. That post Basically, the reason why it's such a popular post is because it's a post for every one PlayStation. If you have a PlayStation console, that's a post that you're going to look at all the time. And that one has five comments. And this was posted on Monday. I mean, not five comments. It has five pages. This was posted on Monday, or Sunday. And this Freedom Wars post was posted today around, I don't know, 10-ish a.m., 9 a.m., and it already has six pages that's already more than that one think about this guys that is that is ridiculous and on the blog whenever they make a post you're allowed to comment on it and usually you know the drop as that's a great example there's usually about one to three replies and that's only for the earliest replies after that they just kinda of forget about it they, may, they might look at it but they don't reply to you anymore but this post the guy who made it Dude, he was answering everything. There is 200 comments, and there's 100. There's about 200 comments, like 207 or something like that, and there's 103 replies. I have never seen that replies in any post ever. I might miss. I might have missed one, but I do p click a lot of the posts, and I've never seen that before. Like this guy was really passionate about his post or something. I don't know, but it's awesome. As I read some of the comments, I almost read. I read almost all the comments, and I read some all of his replies too. And people were saying things like, 
oh, I want, when's, when's the release date, or is there a demo coming out? And his common answer was, it wasn't this exactly all the time, but it was, this was like the basis of it. It was like, we're excited to share more info in the coming weeks, so stay tuned, and we'll give you more information, basically. So basically what he's saying, he has, he has nothing confirmed right now, but they're already planning on uh, releasing new information soon, you know? So he's just waiting for some confirmation of things. So we can expect a release date or a demo announcement, etc., of some sort, probably by the mid-end of July. You know, mid to end of July. Uh, we should hopefully get a release date or a demo announcement or, or something new we're going to get by the mid of July. So, yeah, that's great news. So, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.